YouTube, what is going on? We have a new month. It is the month of December, so let's go ahead and check out all the new fish, bugs, and sea creatures that are now available or have come back into season uh, for you to catch in the Northern Hemisphere. So let's jump right into the Critterpedia. We will start with bugs. There are three bugs that are returning or are new. First up, we have the Emperor Butterfly. This bug is coming back. It will be available to catch from December through March. As I'm sure you all know, the butterflies fly around near flowers, usually. And this butterfly is available from 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. Now, next up, the Raha Brooks Birdwing makes its return in December. It is back until February, then it goes away for a little bit. Uh, but this bug, again, it is flying around. It's a big uh, butterfly or moth. I guess it's a bird wing, technically. Um, it is available from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., so keep your eye out for that. And the last new bug, which actually I believe this is the last bug that you will need to catch for your Critopedia if you got the game when it came out in March and you've caught everything, this should be the last one you need. This is the Dung Beetle. You will find these on the ground and they'll be pushing around a snowball. So you have to have snow on your island to catch one. Keep that in mind when you're looking for it. Now these are available December through February, and the good news is they are available all day. The hardest part is just catching one when it's snowing out, because it has to be snowing. Let's move over to the fish. First up, we have the pond smelt, if I can, there it is. The pond smelt, much like the dung beetle, is the last fish if you've had the game since its release and you've caught everything to date. This will be the last fish you need. Just like the dung beetle, it is available all day long and it is available from December through February. And it is caught in the river. Obviously by the size of this fish you can tell it's going to be a smaller shadow. If you need the exact shadow size, I do have a video showing what the shadow is uh, on my YouTube page. Next up, we have one of the most difficult fish to catch in the game. The stringfish returns uh, to the game. It is caught in the rivers on the clifftops, so it has to be either on the second or the third level in your island or on your island. It is available from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m., so pretty much uh, at night is when you want to target this fish. And then, you know, the seasonality, December through March, so when the game came out, you had about 10 days to catch this. Otherwise, this will really be the first time you'll have the opportunity to catch it again. Now, next up, we have the sea butterfly. This is also a December through March, so just like the string fish, you only had a few days to catch one. Small shadow, these weren't too challenging to catch from what I recall. They are caught out at sea, and you can catch them any time of day. Now, there are two more uh fish that are returning uh, we have the squid which is from december all the way through august so most of the month you probably already have a squid but it is caught out at sea and you can catch it all day long and the last fish that is returning is the oarfish. fish i know when these went away i was very sad because these are a lot of fun to catch they're worth i think nine thousand bells maybe eight thousand um anyways a good amount of bells they are caught out at sea they are a very large shadow and uh, you can catch them all day, so they're, they're a good thing to catch. Uh, you will probably catch a lot of sea bass, though, trying to catch and or fish. Now, the last new critter that is available in December is the lobster. So the lobster is available December and January. Then it will become, again, available in April through June. They are available all day long, um, but this is the only new sea creature that is available for the Northern Hemisphere. So with that, let me know which of these fish, bugs, and sea creatures you need to catch to complete your Critterpedia. Also, let me know which one you found the hardest to catch. My gut, my guess, is that the stringfish is going to be the most challenging, but I always like to know and hear, you know, what everybody is uh, struggling with. So with that, appreciate you all taking some time to watch the video. Thank you so much. If you would all please drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it, and good luck catching all the new critters.